Hello everyone. The topic for this video is integrated education. After studying this topic, you will be able to describe the historical development of education services and understand the relevance of integrated education. So first, let us see what is integrated education. Integrated education is an educational system where children with disabilities get an equal opportunity for education with other children with full participation. Integrated education needed support you services which include fulfillment of their special needs. An integrated education for the visually impaired aims at normalizing the life and education of these children in the least restrictive environment. Now, let's see some objectives of integrated education. Number one, to place the children with disabilities in regular schools so that the feeling of segregation may be reduced. Number two, to provide equal opportunity to the children with disabilities for developing optimally, thereby enabling them to become productive member of their society. Number three, to provide enriching experience to the children with disabilities through interaction with typically developed children. Number four, to provide educational opportunities and experiences to children with disabilities equal to that which is provided to typically developed children. Number five, to provide healthy competition for ensuring further development of children with disabilities for higher achievements, further education and so on. So, we have seen what integrated education wants to achieve. But, what does it mean? The word integration came from a Latin word integratus, which means to make whole or entire by adding or bringing parts together. And based on that, the definition of integrated education can be said. Integrated education refers to meaningful involvement of children with disabilities into ongoing regular education programs to the extent feasible and beneficial in a given instance with the ultimate goal being op optional, academic and social as well as personal learning of each child. To better understand the concept, look at this picture. There are three different types of education. First is segregation that is called special education in which disabled students are kept separately. Second source, integrated education in which disabled children have been included in regular schools but they arrange a different classroom for them. Children can meet with non-disabled students in the playground, at lunch times and in the library but not in the teaching learning process. Third picture shows inclusive education. In this picture, disabled children and non-disabled children learn together. And facilities are given to the students according to their special needs. In integrated education, the role of resources and regular teachers are considered very important for the success of this program largely depending on the combined efforts of both. The regular teacher takes responsibility for the general program of the child, while the resource teacher teaches the particular skills in coping with the blindness termed as the plus curriculum. Now, moving further with emergence of integrated education in the West and in India. The centrally sponsored scheme of integrated education for the disabled children states to provide educational opportunities for the disabled children in regular schools 
and to facility, facilitate their retention. Disabled children who are placed in special schools should also be integrated in regular schools. Once they acquire the communication and daily living skills at a functional level. More than 130 years ago, the first organized system of integrated education was introduced in Scotland and was replicated in other parts of the United Kingdom. It was a venture well in advance of the social and educational thinking of the age. Dadar school started the first experiment of this nature in 1940 in cooperation with the Hume High School Bombay. Two bright pupils after finishing their elementary education in the blind school were sent to regular schools. One boy stood first in all his examination in a class of 40 sighted children. The first attempt in implementation of integrated education in India was made during 1960 by the Ministry of Education and the Royal Commonwealth Society for the Blind. Partial integration emerged in 1963. Starting with four visually impaired boys, it has grown steadily and now has more than 100 boys and girls. Reference to the needs of providing special education is found in the Education Commission reports 1964-1966, which recommended placement of disabled children as far as possible in regular schools. In 1974, the Ministry of Welfare Central Government of India initiated the IEDC program to promote the in integrated integration of students with mild to moderate disabilities into regular schools. The program was also designed to promote the retention of children with disabilities in the regular school system. Working in an integrated educational setup is not just another teaching job within the sheltered environment to a classroom but should be considered a challenging responsibility involving the care and welfare of the visually impaired children. And the central scheme of integrated education for the disabled can be state as this scheme was evolved by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment in 1974. In 1982, the scheme was transferred to the Ministry of Education. The scheme has since been revised during 1987 in view of the National Policy of Education. With the coverage of education of children with disabilities in the National Policy on education during 1986. The scheme was shifted to the Ministry of Human Resource Development. A large number of state governments have already adopted the scheme. They have established administrative cells for monitoring the scheme. After understanding the meaning and scope of integrated education, let's see some initiatives taken towards it. Three groups of individuals played an important role in initiating integrated education. First, visually impaired persons themselves. Many visually impaired persons themselves were not satisfied with the system of education in special schools. They wanted to stay with their families and study in regular schools along with other sighted children. They took the initiative in encouraging integrated education. Second, progressive teachers of the visually impaired. They discovered that a special residential school system for the education of the visually impaired children was not 
the right answer to the education and development of these children. They felt that the visually impaired person were missing a lot in life by being isolated from the mainstream. Hence, integrated education was initiated. Third, parents of the visually impaired children. Parents did not wish to send their blind children away from home to special schools far away. They felt that their children would be much better off if they stay in the family and in a familiar environment. They also realized that their blind children could be educated alongside the sighted with some additional efforts and they encouraged integrated education. At last, let's see relevance in the Indian context. Integrated education for disabled children in India is more a necessity than an option. Considering the huge population of disabled children in India and a rural-based demographic pattern, education of children with disabilities need to happen only in local schools with the resource available locally. This would enable the use of the rural educational facilities to educate these children. By educating the child in an integrated education program, he continues to be a member of the family and the society. Since the child is never segregated, the question of re-entry into the family does not arise. So in this way, we have learned the concept of integrated education. Thanks for watching.